Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this video, I want to talk about another free Cinema 4D plugin, and this one's called Magic Flat. Now, I've already put Magic Flat in my um, plugins directory, but what I want to do is go to Windows, Customization, uh, Customize Palettes, and uh, I'm going to type in Magic, and there we go, Magic Flat is there, and I'm going to drag that into my UI as a little button, and I'm also going to go to window customization and then save a startup layout so it's just part of my startup layout now this plugin is available for cinema 4d r15 plus all the way up to 20 it works with um, the current up-to-date version which is r20 at the time of recording of this video so uh, just letting you know that so i'm going to show you what it does so let's create a sphere and i'm going to actually turn on our um, wireframe as well so there we've got our sphere. I'm going to make this editable and I'm going to go into my polygon mode there and the select tool and I'm going to select some polygons and I'm just going to hit the button. And this basically just flattens out all of our selected polygons. You can see when we hit the button, it averages all the polygons out. So, well, it makes them all flat along uh, the average normals of all the selected polygons. And you can see that um, it's kind of averaged out uh, where it should place them as well. Now you can actually do this natively in Cinema 4D by scaling all your polygons along the normal, but um, this makes it, you know, a lot lot easier. And you don't have to mess around with the um, uh, the axis. So you're basically saying that the uh, the axis should be based on the selected poly's normals. Uh, so you don't have to flip between them. It just makes life easier. So. That's its average polygon normals and its average position, but we can actually choose uh, whether the position should be its max or minimum. To better demonstrate this, what I'll do is go into my ret rectangle select tool, go into uh, tolerance selection, and we'll go into this side view and I'll just select all the uh, polys on top here and then go back to this view. So what we get normally by just pressing the button is this. If I undo that and hold shift you can see that all the polygons moved up to the highest point so if i go back you can see that these polygons on top uh, um, occupy the highest position in our selection and if we hold select and press this all the polygons are brought up to that so that's the maximum now you can do the opposite you can see here that these polygons here are the minimum of our selection uh, in terms of uh, their position so if we hold control and press this button, everything shoots down to there. So yeah, basically that's what this plugin does. It's just a really nice, easy way of um, flattening out uh, geometry and stuff. I should imagine that would be quite useful when modeling and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, it definitely has its merits, even though it is, um, you know, arguably quite a simple plugin. It could be quite useful in a lot of ways. So yeah. All right. Uh, that's it for this uh, video guys I'll see you in the next one for my viewers on YouTube please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials you can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials you can also follow me on social media links in the description and the footer of my website if you'd like to help support digital meet this can be done via patreon or the support page on the website but if you want to help Digital Meat keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. I also have a second YouTube channel called Beef Doctor, which is a bit of a dumping ground for non-3D content and where I'm streaming games. There's a link in the description and the footer of digitalmeat.uk. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!